Hello everyone, I'm Nate Asher and welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Goward Sword HD. So, this is a game that came out on the Wii originally, has never been remade, has never been touched, and uh, frankly, it, I think that is a disservice because the Wii had really crappy motion control, and... I think this game deserves a second chance. So, yeah, I've been playing by myself. Um, just for the sake of this let's play, I'm gonna do what I always do go by my name. What did I do? Hard to get used to playing with the uh, the Joy Cons. It also came with a poster right here. Not sure how well you guys can see that. I'll show that off here in a bit. Rise, James. The time has come for you to awaken. Start. You'll you'll notice they got some stuff um, from this game when they made Breath of the Wild. You are fated to have a hand in a great destiny, and it will soon find you. The time has come for you to awaken, James. <laughs> oh man <laughs> 
Hey sleepyhead, I know how much you like to sleep in, so I'm guessing this letter will be your alarm clock this morning. Did I guess right? Rise and shine, James. Today's the wing ceremony. You promised to meet me before it starts, remember? Better not keep me waiting. Zelda. <laughs> Alright, here we are in the Night Academy. So, this game, while not the first game made, is the first uh, game that takes place in the timeline. So, this is like the beginning. This is before Hyrule and everything. So,. We'll learn more of the, the backstory and lore as we play through. Alright. Oh, can't go in other people's rooms. Bummer. What up, ma'am? Morning, James! So, today is the wing ceremony. Are you ready? All I'm saying is everyone else is out practicing at the plaza, but you seem pretty... relaxed about the whole thing. Of course, that crimson locked wing of yours is something special. I'd feel pretty confident riding him, too. My bird won the last ceremony, but even I don't think he could beat that red terror of yours. Of course, a bird's true speed in a race always comes down to the skill of the rider. I'm something of a bird researcher around here, so, you know, if you ever find yourself in need of some bird expertise, come see old Pivot. Will do, bum. <laughs> Alright. Oh, gosh. But I'd lift your legs. Morning, James. Today's the big wing ceremony, right? I wanted to fly too, but I didn't make the cut, so I'm stuck back here at the academy. Plus, I gotta move these barrels over to the kitchen. I was hoping to at least be able to cheer you on, James, but I guess that's the way it goes. Go out there and wow him, buddy. Well, dude, look. This is how you do it, okay? Yeah, be real careful though, not to bump into anything. If you feel like you're getting tired, if you feel like you're getting tired, just put her down. Rest for a second, you can pick her back up, you know. What's all this? I thought I told Fledge to carry that. But that's probably for the best. That skinny boy would probably gotten flattened. Say, hey, don't you have some important ceremony or some such today? <laughs> Thanks for the help. Thanks, that was a huge help, James. I know it's not much, but here's half of the pay the old lady offered me to do that. I'll have to hang back and watch the account your day. Good luck with the ceremony, James. And here we have beautiful sky island of Skyloft. 
Very cool. Now, every uh, Zelda game that I've let's played on the channel, and um, just every Zelda game, I have um, at least played, but uh, definitely beaten multiple times. This is the only game I've only ever played and beaten once. So, I'm not completely, like, good with- oh! Hey, come here. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not completely, like, uh, the best with this game. Oh, okay. In terms of, like, knowing where everything is and um and 100 percenting it and all that stuff so um bear with me but for the most part like i feel like it's i mean it's pretty it's a pretty linear game so morning to you james today's finally the day of the long-awaited wing ceremony are you feeling ready Oh, I just remembered. There's something I'd like to ask you about. Target me and we can have a quick chat. Excellent. Always remember you can target someone to talk to them easily. Even when there isn't anything to target, it's a convenient way to add this tutorial into the dialogue to make it seem so natural. Oh, but it's a little silly to carry on a conversation from this distance. Why don't you join me up here? It is silly, you know. What... What was I thinking? You know, targeting, Z-targeting you and then pressing A to talk to you is almost like that was part of the uh, progression. Yeah. Oh, you want me to dash up here? Okay. Yeah, that should that should make it really easy to talk to you if I dashed up here. And then talk to you like face to face and then I wouldn't have to Z-target you, would I? So, what are you up to? First you can get some last minute bird riding practice in this morning, James? A wink wink. Oh, you have someone to meet? Ah, Bell's waiting for you, is she? Perfect timing then. You see, Zelda's father, Headmaster Gabora, has a pet named Mia, <clears throat> and well, she scampered off again. Look. Over there, do you see her? Headmaster is so busy working with Zelda preparing for the ceremony, I thought that maybe I should feed her. But the ceremony's about to start, and I just put on a fresh set of clothes, and well, you see. <sighs> Will you help me out and go retrieve Mia for me? No, I'm busy. Ah, uh, I see. Can you please tell the Headmaster that Sir Growl has found Mia and that he shouldn't worry? So, will you help by finding me and bring her back to me? Yeah, I guess I will. Fantastic, so you'll do it? I know you're in a hurry, so I really appreciate you taking time to help. I am in a hurry, dude. You should be able to climb up somewhere over there. If you hang off that ledge there, you can climb up onto the roof from the other side. Fairly sorry, I know you're quite the climber. I really do appreciate it. Alright. Maybe I should like back up the camera so you guys can like see what I'm doing with all of this. It's kind of like interesting, I guess. It'd be more interesting when I get a sword and actually slash it around. <laughs> nice work, you brought her back safe and sound. Yeah, and then I chucked her at you. Sorry for troubling you with this. I know you're busy, James. I suppose I should feed me, you know. Please tell the headmaster that we find his pet. He should be up by the statue of the goddess. 
Why are you making me do all this when you know I have to practice? I believe Zell is there with him, so you should hurry along. Oh yes, I should give you a reward. It's not much, but please take this. Uh, don't tell the others. Ah, uh, so it's a bribe, is it? A little bribe. By the way, if you ever see one of these statues, you have to um, at least interact with it. Because if you don't interact with it, then you can't warp there later. Spoilers. Morning, James! How's life? Did you manage to get even a wink of sleep last night? Figured you might have been tossing and turning all night thinking about the big ceremony today. What am I doing? Oh, just fixing this gate here. Been squeaking lately and we can't have that on the day of that ceremony. Hey, you haven't already forgotten to send your prayers to the goddess this morning, have you? Just face the bird statue over there and see it as a short prayer to save your progress. You know, those bird statues are all over Skyloft. It's about time you get in the habit of stopping that statue every time you run by one. Like I was saying. Prayer in time saves nine, if you know what I'm saying. No. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, good looking. <laughs> Unintentional product placement. Oh, youth, gather by the servant of the goddess. Unite earth and sky. Bring light to the land. <laughs> hey, good morning, James. I'm glad to see my loft one got you out of bed. Oh, yeah, thanks for that, by the way. I was pretty sure you'd sleep in and forget to meet me this morning. Look at this instrument, and look at this outfit. They're mine to use today in the ceremony, since I'll be playing the role of the goddess. <sighs> Aren't they beautiful? Especially this instrument. They tell me it's just like the one the goddess was said to have in the legend. It sounds gorgeous, too. I asked father about it, and he says it's called a harp. Look at these clothes! I made this wrap myself and we get to use it in today's ceremony. Between the harp and this outfit, I'm gonna make a great goddess today. I got you up early this morning because I wanted you to be the first to see me like this, James. So, how do I look? You look great. <laughs> I think so too, but it's nice to know you agree. Thanks, James. Ah, there you are, Zelda. Are you all prepared for today's ceremony? Oh, hello, Father. Ah, uh, James, you're here too. Outstanding. Encouraging to see you up so early, given your capacity for sleep. <laughs> no doubt today's ceremony had you too excited to close your eyes for once. If you win today's ceremonial race, you'll get to participate in the Posture ritual with Zelda, so give it your best out there. Yes, about that. Father, I don't know if you can do it. Recently, James hasn't been practicing much at all for the ceremony. And even when he's out riding his lock wings, just lazily gliding around, probably daydreaming. I don't know what he's thinking. He's gonna have to be in perfect control of his bird to win today. No need to worry yourself, Zelda. Though you may have a point, today's wing ceremony tests the skill of the rider as well as his bond to his bird. Victory will not come easy. 
And as you pointed out, I haven't seen him practicing as hard as some of the other students. But you've known him since you were both very little. You should know better than to fret about him. You see, James and his loft wings share a special connection. I've never seen anything quite like it. As you know, each of us in Skyloft is but one half of a pair. We are only made whole by our loft wings, guardian birds that the goddess bestows upon each of us as a symbol of her divine protection. When we are young, every one of us meets our loft wing under the great statue of the goddess. Quite a big moment, as I'm sure you recall. Ah, uh, but that first meeting between James and his Loftwing was extraordinary. The bird that came to him was a Crimson Loftwing. It is a breed so rare we were sure for some time that it had vanished from the line. Yes, and the boy and his bird seemed to share a profound connection from the moment they met. You call when James and that Loftwing of his first met? What a sight! little boy just hopped up on that bird and gracefully flew away without even a moment of instruction. They were meant for each other. And judging by how jealous you were that day, I'd say the friendship he shared with his bird didn't go unnoticed by you, my dear. Ah, uh, but who can blame you? Sure, you weren't the only one envious of the powerful bond shared by James and his bird. Anyone who is a part of something special is bound to catch some nasty looks sooner or later. <laughs> this contest is nothing to laugh at, Father. The ceremony is part of the final test for those trained to become knights in Skyloft. If James doesn't fly fast enough during the race? What if James messes up his big chance? What if he's not allowed to become a knight? Calm down, my dear. It will be fine. Honestly, it's almost as though you become a completely different person when you worry about James. Listen, James, you better fly your heart out today. At the very least, you need to squeeze in a little practice time before the race. Come on, you'll thank me later. Here we are. Go on now. Jump off the edge and call your law wing. It's almost time for the ceremony, so try to practice seriously for once. Hmm? Oh yeah? You can't sense your bird out there? Oh, I get it. You're just trying to weasel out of having to practice. Nice try, but you're not fooling me. Off you go! Okay, James, go ahead. Just press down and call your loft wing. Hmm. Bird sure is taking a long time to get here. Something's wrong. Hang in there, James. I've got you. You two all right? I'm sorry, friend. I didn't mean to push you so hard. You didn't spring your wing, did you? This is very odd, James. Could have possibly happened to your loft wing. For a bird to ignore the call of his master, it's unheard of. And you still can't sense your bird nearby, eh, huh, James? Quite a problem. Especially considering the wing ceremony is about to start. James, when you said you couldn't sense your loft wing, well, I could have believed you. 
I'm sorry. I need to tend to my own loft wing, so I'll catch up with you later. You better go on ahead and see if you can find where your bird is gone. Why, how did it get to be so late? If I recall correctly this year, Instructor Har Orwell's presiding over the ceremony. Oh yeah, by the way, little aside, all the names of everybody in Skyloft, except for like Link and Zelda, they're all named after um, birds in some like capacity. So see if you can like figure out what bird each person's named after. I won't tell you because I don't freaking know. But if you know, uh, let me know in the comments like who is supposed to be what bird. But I think it's kind of cool. James, you should go explain the situation to him and see if he's willing to delay the race a little so that you can find your bird. <laughs> but father, you're the headmaster of the academy. If James asks instructor of Warwell, he'll probably just come talk to you about it. <laughs> Quite true. As usual, you make an excellent point, my dear. Very well. I'll explain the situation to him myself. James, run along and tell Instructor Horwell to come see me in my quarters. And do that we shall in the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I'm really excited about this game. Let me know if you are too. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you are um, playing on you know playing this game with us then go ahead and hit the subscribe button that way you'll get the notifications whenever uh, each new video comes out and I will see you guys next time bye